Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So today we are here with the most exciting content for you guys. So we are here with the DJI Dock 3 and also with the Mattress 4 uh, Dock version we have it. So now today in this video we will uh, see that how to uh, assemble this heavy thing and also about the activation of the dock and binding with the flight hub 2 and operating from there. Okay guys, so for this uh, assembling uh, for today video, uh, we will need uh, as along with the dock 3, this all the accessories it is coming along with that. So first we have the tool kit, the toolbox uh, inside that have different switches and uh, screwdriver also. also. And also we have the wind module and the screws and this one is RTK module, this one is new, we will show you this. Uh, we have the cable and screwdriver there. So with this drone, we are getting this RC cable, screws and extra propellers and the screwdriver. Yeah, so along with me today, uh, I have uh, Mr. Ben, uh, my colleague. So he will be uh, with us through the whole process, uh, every process which is going on today. So I will ask one question that from where we should start. Uh, we have this everything, every accessories, every tools. So what we need, uh, uh, what we need uh, in the first stage. Yeah. Hello everyone. So first of all, let me introduce. Uh, when we doing the activation before, we have to get a remote control because all of the dock series for activation we have to use the remote control to connect with the dock to do the configuration, activate it. And also we have to arrange the power cable from here we can attach. Because in the box they don't they doesn't come with a cable, they just have like adapter connection. And also the internet wire, we have to arrange it also. Yeah. After that we have everything. We have to fix the wind module with the dock and then the RTK module. After that we will uh, put the drone inside of the box yeah. to charge it and uh, activate it, bind each other, then link to the flight hub 2. As we see in the previous dock version, dock 2, so it is being activated with the RC uh, Pro Enterprise. Series. Yeah. So this one is currently using the RC Plus 2. So can we do it with the previous version also? Uh, no, it will be work only with this new version RC 2. And uh, there is two types. One is for like M300, M350, the big one, black color. This gray color, new version for the Matrix 4 series. Yeah. So it will be different. We have to make sure we get, we get the new version. Then we will work for the dock. Otherwise, maybe you bring the wrong version, we go to the side to activate it, it will be not working. So we will lose the time for that. Just make sure for this. Yeah, okay, okay. This is, uh, this is perfect. So now let's start the process of fixing these modules on the dock. Uh, let's see. Well, first of all, we are going to fix the winds module. Okay guys, so as you see that we have installed the wind module and also the RTK module. So now the next step is the activation of the dock. So Ben, what we need for that activation? Uh, yeah. So we will prepare the RC, then we prepare the cable, power cable and the, the internet cable. Okay. Actually this cable will be same with dock 2. So if you have the dock 2, same cable you can use it. Connection is done. Okay guys, so we fixed the AC wire Ethernet cables. So as faster the connection of the Ethernet you have, you will get the very good transmission. So the thing is, we have an additional port over here, this POE. Yeah, POE out is, the, is for the relay station. If you want to power up the relay station, basically when you install this dock on site, so you will definitely somewhere depend upon the terrain you will feel the you will fetch the obstruction of the transmission so you need to install the relay station so for that you will need this port to be connected with the relay station to power the relay so actually relay is drtk3 
ओके गाइस सो वी हैव वाइड अप एवरीथिंग सो वी जस्ट नीड टू कनेक्ट द रिमोट कंट्रोलर एंड वी हैव टर्न ऑन दिस डॉक द एसी इज ऑन एसी पावर वी विल नीड दिस केबल फॉर दैट राइट सी टू सी ओके सो Okay guys so as you see the this one is now in the configuration status so the remote controller will be uh, connected with this so as you also see the button the lights of the dock so it's changed to completely blue continuous blue yeah so it will be that right now okay guys so as you see we have installed every module on the dock and uh, tethering the wire up internet connection everything So now we are at the remote controller side, and along with uh, us there is the, this Matrix 4 uh, TD version. So first we activate, we will activate this. Okay, so first we will bind this drone with the dock. We will activate it, and we will also connect it to the flight hub. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah. So first of all, we have to turn the battery from the drone and the remote. Okay. Then we bind it. Now we are going to activate. I think it's activated yeah, now. It's done. We need to update the soft firmware accessory. Uh, yeah, uh, but right, it's not right now. We have to do it because uh, the battery was new. Inside only just have one part for the okay. power, so it will be not enough for update the firmware. Yeah, yeah, it's already. I think uh, it's only twenty uh, percent remaining. So yeah. first we will put inside the dock, and then we will uh, upgrade the firmware. Yeah, so let's proceed with the dock. Okay. Okay, guys. So as you see that we have activated the drone uh, with this RC Plus two uh, using our uh, one account. So we will use the same account for the dock activation. But in the dock three, the one thing is changed, which which you should focus on. It uses the DJI Enterprise app, which is working on the Android devices. Yeah, so we have that application. So let me show you. So this one application, uh, you have to install on your Android uh, mobile phones uh, from the DJI app uh, website. You can also download it from there. So before we were connecting the cable with this controller. Now this time we will connect just with this uh, mobile phone Type C cable. Okay. so it support this type of cable so uh, and then from there here we can uh, uh, we can activate the dock and also the account which you used for this uh, drone activation you should have to use uh, to log in uh, with the same account uh, for enterprise app yeah so let's proceed with this yeah when you can uh, continue with that sure so we need to drone put the drone inside the dock or uh, Uh, that is later uh, because when we activate the dock, okay. it will be mentioned we have to close the we have to power off the drone first of all. Okay, so first we will activate first we have activated the drone, then yeah. we will activate the dock separately, and then we will bind the both the systems together, uh, and then we will connect the system to the flight hub. Yeah, this is working pretty uh, quite pretty well. So now the activate is done, so we will continue to the. Open the dock cover. Okay, guys. So as you see that every step we followed with the uh, with the mobile phone, so it's the same as previously you were following with the uh, uh, RC Plus, as you can uh, see also. So now uh, we have activated the dock. So also uh, now we will link this uh, drone with the uh, with this account. With the dock, right? Yeah, yeah. So this uh, drone will be linked to the dock now. Yeah. So we have, uh, yeah, we can link. Just from press. So. Yes. Yeah, it's linked. Link. Yeah, it's linked, right? Yeah, it's linked. So now we put the information for the flight hub. So there are some uh, points for the like calibration point, fixed point when you are doing for the permanent deployment of the dock on site. Actually, yeah. 
So currently we are doing this indoor activation. So that's why we are We're skipping doing, some yeah. options. Yeah. So this we will just we are doing this just for the activation only. For the proper uh, side deployment, you have to uh, fix the alternative landing uh, uh, site for the drone uh, for the malfunction of the dock, like different calibration you have to do. Uh, yeah. So now uh, I think we can control everything now from mobile phone, right? Yeah, you can see all the information from here. From here, we can see all the information. Then, like before the talk to, we can see the information from the RC. Now it will be go to the phone. How many hours we are using and the temperature. Okay, so Everything this means is this is a complete debugging page before yeah. we were, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, I got it. So the activation is done. So what the next step, we will just uh, connect with the FlyHub 2 to do some okay. more testing. Okay, okay, yeah. So let's uh, create a, an organization uh, in the Flight Hub 2 and uh, we will get some credentials like organization id and uh, binding code from the flight hub 2 account so we will put that credential inside our uh, uh, our system so it will be binded together let's close the top cover Let me charge it. Charge is done here. So now we are going to charge the drone. Yeah, so as you see that from the enterprise app, we can control the whole operation uh, of the dock, like uh, its configuration. We can uh, start the charging, we can charge the aircraft, we can charge the, uh, we can charge the dock also, and we can open and close the cover we can uh, start the heating and cooling like that yeah so this debugging mode we can configure it with that with the from mobile phone no need to have a separate rc for that yeah so this complete thing we can do so now let's switch to the flight hub 2 page and then uh, we will start binding this system with the flight hub 2 and then we will control it from here because this whole system is for the remote operation so finally you will need uh, the you will need this flight hub tool so from where you will ultimately control this uh, system yeah so let's go to the flight hub tool and then okay guys so we have uh, created an organization in the flight hub tool and from that the devices option we get the uh, uh, credentials like organization ID and the name of the organization and also the most important thing the binding code yeah so we will uh, go to the uh, mobile application RC uh, enterprise application uh, and then we will start reconfiguration of the dock from there uh, and then we will put our uh, this credential of the flight hub yeah okay, let's do it we'll open the dock cover Okay guys, so as you see that uh, we have successfully linked the Flight Hub 2 with this system. So now we can control it from our uh, Flight Hub uh, 2 account. So yeah, as you can see over here, so we will confirm that. <coughs> yeah, over here we have uh, two docks, Dock 2 and Dock 3. So currently uh, we have this Dock 3 version. So we will go to the device maintenance. So the same page which we were uh, getting on the enterprise application, we can also do it now over here. So we'll go to the remote debugging. Yeah, we will uh, close this, this cover. Okay guys, so as, as you see that uh, this whole system is uh, working quite uh, well and quite efficiently. So first we activated the drone and then we activated the dock, then we, we uh, bind this system together. 
and then we uh, connect it to the flight hub too. So the ultimate solution is to controlling from the remote uh, location, like from the office, you can control the system on site. So now this is completely uh, tethered with the wire connection, AC and the uh, internet connection also. So you can control it from here. So the whole solution is, uh, this is very uh, fast uh, in the sense of takeoff time. So you can use it for the public safety emergency response, uh, like drone is a first responder. So for, for patrolling and also uh, for the search and rescue operation, you can use it. Okay, so in the next video, uh, we will uh, go to the site and we will show you uh, what functions uh, you can get using Flight Hub 2 and uh, what uh, uh, feature you can explore. So we will show you everything uh, on the site in the next video. So stay tuned with us and uh, thank you Bin uh, yeah, okay. for joining with us. Uh, thank you so much.